Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the transformation of my bathroom. This is what I currently have in my bathroom, a tub shower cabin. It is practically two in one, bath tub and shower cabin. I really need to get rid of it and I show you why. I want to show you these spots. I know they look like dirt or mold, but these are just discolorations of this plastic kind of material. Here I want to show you the hard water marks. This is a disaster. I have very hard water where I live and I don't have a water softener, so the lime scale is real. Here you can see a lot of mold under that silicone line that I can't get off because it's under the silicone. Look at this, this is a nightmare. I always spend a lot of time scrubbing this shower cabin. You can see it's all ruined and looking gross and I can't reach behind it or on the left exterior side to clean all that mold. Here you can have a better look of the mold that keeps growing. This tub shower cabin is not working for me anymore, so I have to change it. Another problem is that the faucet is leaking pretty badly. I really loved this tub because it has music and lights. I can do a quick shower or a very relaxing bath, but you can see it's in a bad shape and it needs to go. I bought a simple bathtub that didn't cost much and to do this project on a budget I will have a family friend disinstalling the old tub and installing the new one. I will show you the process. This is the first day when we disinstalled the old one and you can see how much mold and mildew has hidden under and beside it. So gross and so unhealthy. I'm glad I made this decision to change the tub. I would never have imagined I had so much mold in here. If you feel overwhelmed by the mess and it's hard for you to get motivated, you can try a few tricks. Promise yourself a reward at the end. Use new cleaning products to get you excited. Listen to an audiobook, YouTube video, podcast or your favorite music while cleaning. Create habits that will keep your home staying clean. Set a timer for a speed cleaning. Do something daily to keep up. The second day is cleaning the area, removing some tiles in order to move the water pipes where I needed the faucet to be and placing the missing tiles. I didn't think I'd make it without you by my side. Let me feel you love again. Just the two Third day is installing the new tub and faucet. I'm showing you all my house was a disaster. Dust everywhere, tiles, tools, materials, etc. After three days of work, all the mold was gone, my new tub was installed and looking so good, 
but my bathroom was full of that red dust from cutting the tiles and doing all the work in here. It really needed a very good deep clean, spring clean or whatever you want to call it. The window was gross, everything was full of dust, dirty, grimy, so in order to be able to actually use this bathroom, I had to clean it thoroughly. If you are interested, I did a video about that tub shower cabin I had in here where I did an experiment by trying 6 different products on 6 panels of the glass to show you which product works better on lime scale. If you are interested, I will link it at the end of this video. I start the cleaning by throwing out everything I don't need and putting back things. It's a good moment to change the cat's litter scent too and I will take all these items into the upstairs bathroom to wash them. I promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know Now you know I wasn't kidding when I said deep cleaning. I prepared all my cleaning supplies and everything I could possibly need. Now let's wash all these items and let them dry on these rags. You can see as always I have my helper with me. First I rinse everything with warm water, then spray a cleaner, then wash them with a sponge and some bleach to disinfect too. And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand Held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. Mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song, and they sing it kind of beautiful. Calling each other sweet. I never washed this cat litter and it's been so long since I washed the laundry basket. If you like what you see, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. On my channel I make content about cleaning, organizing, decor, hacks, the day-to-day -day homemaking. I hope you will stick around.
the toilet brush is the last one I wash, so I can toss the sponge. While everything dries, I start cleaning the bathroom. Look at this toilet. The red dust got even into the toilet. When I deep clean the toilet, I remove all the water from the toilet bowl with a plastic cup. Then spray a bathroom cleaner and let it sit according to instructions. While my cleaner is sitting on there, I will spray other little items with the same product and prepare an old towel to have a place to put those items to dry when I will wash them. It's all about maximizing the time you have. I always find other small things to do while I wait a product to sit. This way I maximize all my cleaning time. I scrub and rinse the toilet, then I use paper towel to buff it dry. If you enjoy this type of video, if you like that real, raw, authentic life cleaning, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I shine the mirrored flusher and the tiles around it with glass cleaner. Put into the toilet bowl a block freshener and that's it. Clean, shiny, disinfected. Now I spray the bidet and while I wait for the product to sit, I'll wash all those little items I sprayed earlier. Scrub the bidet, use a toothbrush for those little crevices, rinse everything and then spray some stainless steel cleaner on the faucet. While I let it sit, I will wash the screen with some cleaner and warm water. You can also use soap or dish soap. 
Scrub it with a sponge or a soft brush, then let it dry. The window is next on my list. You can see that red dust got there too, so I'm cleaning with a glass cleaner and a glass cloth, then bath it dry. Of course, this is not a simple window cleaning, but a very deep cleaning. I hope this video gives you the motivation that you need. I know that sometimes it's not easy to get motivated to clean the same things over and over again, to do one million tasks every day, but know that you are not alone. I know that you are having a hard time as well. I hear you, I see you, I feel you, I am here to help you. Now let's clean some stainless steel because the product sat long enough. After I wipe the bidet with a dry cloth, I want to clean and disinfect its drain with baking soda and vinegar. I pour some baking soda into the drain, add some vinegar to bubble up and keep adding vinegar from time to time until I see it's not bubbling up anymore. In the meantime, I will shine those tiles around the bidet with the glass cleaner. It's time to spray the bathroom cleaner on the sink. Now the bidet's drain is clean and disinfected, so I will let the hot water run for a few minutes, then buff it dry. What can I clean while the sink is soaking? The scales! My two scales are covered in dust, so I will clean them with glass cleaner. Here I'm doing a quick cleaning of the tub and faucet because it's new and I don't need to deep clean it. It's already clean, just a little bit dusty. I'm making sure to wipe it dry thoroughly because when I clean the bathroom, I like the surfaces to be dry, not wet.
I will wipe the exterior of the tub with this hygiene all-purpose cleaner in the mint scent. It smells so fresh. Now a good scrubbing of the sink using the toothbrush into those crevices. Rinsing and in the end spraying a stainless steel product on the faucet. During all this cleaning I use bleach to disinfect too. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see. All your million faces and all your million mistakes. The screen is dry so I can put it back and I will continue with the space around the sink. I have to clean the light fixture, the mirror, all the tiles and all the products I keep there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and taking time of your busy day to watch my video. I put the toilet paper and some things back where they belong and now it's time to clean this very very dusty shelf. When something is too dusty, first remove the dust with a duster or a dry cloth, then use the cleaner you like. On the tiles I always use a glass cleaner. Cleaning all this wall of tiles is a must because of the red dust I have all over. Let me know what you are doing while you are watching this video. Let me know if you are enjoying your coffee, if you are tackling something on your to-do list or if you are looking for that motivation to start cleaning. I am glad you are here and I appreciate you so much. Yeah.
put back everything on that shelf and here I'm showing you that in the springtime I use this Glade automatic spray in the luscious sherry and peony that smells so floral and springy. I have to put a new thing in the dehumidifier. It helps to collect the humidity from the bathroom. The shelf is done, so now I have to put back all the products from the mirror shelf. Tell me when does it end? My heartbeat calls your name. The radiator is so annoying to clean, but someone has to do it, right? First dry cloth, then glass cleaner with a rag, then buff it dry. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot. If you want to learn how to clean other areas in your home or cleaning hacks, please subscribe. I have a lot of videos like this. Next are the tiles around the tub and then the light fixture from the ceiling. When you don't want to clean, remember that when your living space is tidy, your mind and soul are more at peace. Clutter and messy surroundings affect your happiness. When you start keeping your living space clean, you will have pride of ownership in your belongings. You'll enjoy spending time at home and feel relaxed when you're there. The joy of returning in a tidy home just can't be beaten. It's scary sometimes, but I know, I know, I know we're safe.
Then I clean thoroughly the towels holder and the door. I did other videos regarding bathroom cleaning or kitchen cleaning. If you're interested, I will link some of them at the end. Back to the sink, I scrub thoroughly the faucet, wipe dry everything and clean and disinfect the drain. This is a must because the drain accumulates hair, dirt, dust, bacteria, germs, mold, all that dangerous stuff. Next, I clean the cabinets and drawers. Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just belong me You don't need no space Just follow me Like a mirror you reflect me Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, It's very important to clean the floor drain or shower drain There you can have accumulated soap scum, hair, dust, grime, 
and all that dirt can cause your bathroom a very disturbing smell. I use a screwdriver to take off the cover, then I pour some warm water to loosen up the scum. I take out the dirty water and the debris with a sponge, then spray some Ace foam cleaner that contains bleach to disinfect too. Don't you be afraid I do the same with the covers and while I let it sit, I clean the last wall of tiles and the washer. I just don't want this moment to end. But now you say you gotta go. Baby, why you gotta go? Like you know where you fit me. I just don't want this. I just don't want this moment to end. Every season Till the end of the world Every moment All the memories unfurl I was chasing the shadows They were slipping right out of my hands But I lingered Now I know Finish with the drain, I wash, rinse and put back everything. To wash the floor I use hot water and this sieve floor cleaner and disinfectant. In my deep cleans I always wash the floor by hand. This way I make sure I don't miss a spot and everything is thoroughly scrubbed. The last thing to do is to clean the grout. I will use this grout brush I got on Amazon and the same product I used for the floors. Now I 
Because grout is a rough and porous material, it allows dirt and grime to adhere to it very easily. It is very important to clean regularly the grout because it is a source of bacteria, mold and mildew. Every time someone walks on a tile floor with shoes on, they are transferring dirt and germs on the tile and grout. Another issue is dirty mop water, rather than cleaning the tile. Mop water spreads the dirt from the tile into the grout. Since the grout is the lowest part of the floor, the dirt and grime from the mop settles into the grout. This can be very frustrating because your floors will look dirty despite your many efforts to keep them clean. Now I put back everything and for my bath products I found this plastic rack with three shelves that fits perfectly the spot between the tub and the wall. The last thing is to put the shower curtain, but when I pull it out I realized how wrinkly it was and because it was so late and I was so tired, I decided to iron and place it the next day. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky, it's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you Such a constellation wreck No, you to agree I love how everything turned out and I am so happy for this makeover. I can definitely use this tub for showers without giving up to my relaxing baths and I didn't spend much on this bathroom renovation. 
Everything is so nice, clean, shiny and disinfected. Spotless. There are no more watermarks or dust on the tiles. No more gunk and grime. Sparkling clean. I'm so satisfied with the result and now the cleaning of the tub will definitely take me so much less that I was spending on cleaning the old one. And for that I will be cleaning it more often for sure. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about the change I made in my bathroom. I hope this video gave you the motivation or inspiration you needed. If so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!